another UFO segment. That's crazy. You'd have to be crazy to believe that's possible. Really? Is it any crazier than what's coming out of, say, your average White House briefing? No, it, it really isn't. So with that in mind, a fascinating conference today about UFOs and nuclear weapons that took place in Washington. At it, a U.S. Air Force captain called David Shindelli said he was part of an incident in which a UFO disabled 10 nuclear ICBM missiles. Here's part of what he said. There has been a long history of UFO incidents and encounters, with much investigation of them from 1947 and even earlier. In September of 1966, I was the Minuteman ICBM Launch Control Officer and Deputy Commander of a launch crew stationed at Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota. I was involved in a UFO incident at that time where a flying object tampered with and took down a total of 10 nuclear-tipped ICBM missiles by rendering them unlaunchable. Tom Rogan is one of the rare serious journalists, actual journalists, in Washington who's been on this story for years in a very rigorous way. He's a columnist now with the Washington Examiner. He was following the conference today. He joins us tonight for a recap. Tom, thanks a lot for coming on. So what did you learn today at this event? Thanks, Tucker. Yeah, I think the key point here is that although these gentlemen have been uh, telling their stories for a while, uh, now they are doing it in a fashion where uh, they can finally be taken seriously by more people. And, and fortunately, though, there weren't that many journalists there today, but there were more perhaps than there have been. I think the key point, though, is that uh, people with some of the highest security clearances at the height of the Cold War for the U.S. Air Force, uh, multiple different individuals at multiple different sites across a period of decades, say that UFOs interacted with nuclear weapons platforms uh, and either rendered them inoperable or took them offline. Uh, and so something was done by a, a technological force, as these uh, officers would suggest, uh, that cannot be explained. And, and that in and of itself sh surely should be um, big news worthy of serious uh, further investigation. Well, by definition, I mean, any force that can take America's nuclear weapons offline is something you need to worry about. Presumably the Pentagon has been looking at this, assessed it. Have they given any, any indication of what they think happened? What's, I think, unfortunate, and I guess we're at the start of a process, you know, the, the Director of National Intelligence had this report, but what's unfortunate is that the government does know that there is a nuclear connection. They've kept that classified. Uh, frankly, I can understand why some of it is classified, but they should come clean with a lot more uh, that they know. I mean, the simple fact, right, the U.S. Navy, why does the Navy keep seeing these things with the aircraft carriers? Well, aircraft carriers are nuclear powered. Um, why do submarines see them? Nuclear connection. This nuclear uh, missile incidents from the Cold War, uh, there's credible testimony from a great historian uh, on this, Robert Hastings, who wrote about UFOs and nukes, to suggest that the Soviets had similar experiences. Yeah. Something is going on here. It's not America, it's not China, it's not Russia, and we need to get a grip and, and take it seriously instead of laughing it off as uh, an issue for crazy people. Right. I mean, there are a lot of crazy people in this world right now. I, I would say the people who take this seriously may be among the least crazy in our public conversation. You're certainly in that category. Right. Tom Rogan, appreciate your coming on tonight and covering this. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.